welcome to the YouTube. Today I'm going to show you about my second part of tutorial Orient database. And that is in previously video I have shown you how to install the Orient database. And now I'm going to show you about how to access its database, how to use it, what are what are the features are there in the, in, the, in that one. Let me show you that for that one just go to your folder where you have configured your Orient database download file, download file. Just double click on that one file and go to build and just open this Orient database. Click on the start, Orient database will start. So that's it. So you can see on your Orient database server version 1.7 is now active. And you can see I uh, will access from local host Orient database. Let me show you how to access that one. Just type open this your Mozilla Firefox and type your local host semicolon 2480 that is for accessing your Orient database. And he is redirecting to Orient database. And here it will ask you username password. Username password is by default root only. And password, let me show you where the password is located. Just open your Orient database folder, go to back and go to the configuration file and just open this Orient database server configuration file. Just on and press enter. And here is your notepad. Just Go to scroll down last and here is your password you can see this is your password with this here is password here just copy this password and just have paste here and click on connect so here we have connected this Orin database and here let me show you how to access this one this is your browse folder uh, for typing you can just command put a command here will execute your query and you can see this is your schema uh, let me show you about the schema and this is your security just type root and then default password press ok and and see so you can see this is a tools and here you can see this is your security when you click on security you can see how many users you have and how many users you have created and which user you have as an permission you can see admin has a reader write permission is there the roles are there when you click on roles you can see admin have been allowed and it's reader deny but has denied this is your security for, uh, features are there small program I will put here just put here just put, this is your new create if you click on new it will have a new function uh, for creating small program this is a clone where we going to have a small program in it if you want to have a delete you can delete if this is a refresh and this is a button so I am going to click on clone first of all and this is a clone scheme and then just uh, remove this clone and I, I will uh, write the name here sum and then 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 this is the language for which you are going to write your script and program if you want to if you have a SQL means you can select SQL if you have a script of Java means you can select Java I am going to select Java and check this box this and then click on this parameter um, so i'm going to have a right uh, small program a and here is p and then afterwards just uh, press enter and type here return and here you give a star star and b yes it's and then scroll down and here type and 3 5 is like a value I have given and b value I have given 3 
so it will multiply it 5 into 3 let me let execute it and we'll see how the uh, answer will come so when you click on execute you will get this now the function is not configured when you get this error just you go to up and have save on it after saving scroll down it and click on execute and you can see on your screen this is your output came the type version 0 this 15 5 is a 15 is came and you can put your plus also minus also will get a value also here and here this is a function if you have a uh, lots of programs javascript is there just to scroll this up and uh, select this javascript option and write here program if you have sql means select this sql and write here community program this is so this is your function uh, let me show you about your this is database when you click on database this one this database will come and here is your id number name physical records are there and here is export your class d fragmentation is there these are the features in database completely are there and is your help is there this one and report issue is there and let me go go to their main schema this is the main schema and let me show you how this schema work here and this is this schema is related to in this one browse when you write your schema here in this one you will get an app if you want to have output to look for you can here yeah, by typing your sql command let me show you a small sample example by making your uh, schema as a program let me show you when you click on just click on a new class and here you type as cloud you can type any name here whatever you want to assign a class name and here is a super class means it will comes under this classes my class will come under this super class so i am going to have upper class so i will uncheck this one and have a alias i am giving a cap my word like c i am giving only word and i do not want to check abstract just click on save it so you can see on the screen by refreshing this page you we can we we, we i got a this cloud class name and here is your queries uh, just click on this cloud and here is the queries that i am going to create it here is the index new index that is purpose for this a cloud class if this is the type that we if you want a dictionary and unique name so you can select it and here is your new property is there this one so just this is a property that if you want to have a so just give a name here your allow that i am going and this is a property in which i am here have given allow and this is a type that i am want to give a link here and just scroll down it you can see if you want to have a mandatory checkbox you can check if you want to have a read only you can read only option check this is a minimum maximum numbers are there uh, you can assign it minimum number maximum number just click on save it and here is my this property new property came and if you i come out i will not make another property by giving here make another property like and here i will try there allow allow to not deny this one i'm going to have my name you can have any name your property and just i'm going to select this link this is mandatory read only run option is there same and this one link type this all those things i will explain you and this my next uh, procedure like in the schema i will explain you next topic just click on save it and this is if you want to delete means just click on drop so you can see this we click on ok so it will be deleted this is your property 
when you click on save let me show you saved and use the property most of the thing when we when we query here in the manual class click on that one and here already have created but i will delete this one so we can create from here also new property and we can create from view record also just have a click on this one uh, delete from here also and have a just click on it add a field and just type name this one any name just a name first uh, name you can type first name and just click select and give assign this one uh, this one is nothing but uh, this one is a binary uh, which we are going to select uh, binary numbers are there for this is byte if you have a zero 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 one this one but this is blue line that we are going to select for checkbox purpose and this is for embedded person purpose we use you to select and decimal if you have a point zero point one selecting the float means if you have a float like selecting boxes for description like that one you can select if this one is date and type this is double this integer boxes double income and this integers is the same like boxes and uh, this is the link if you have a link you can give this link list we have a link list become map link set this long shot this is there this one is there so this is the field is there so i'm going to have a select this one a string as a first name and add it i will i will add then i will going to have a add field and here i will uh, type my this last name and here i will select string again and uh, an add field and here i will add a phone number also uh, let me show you by adding phone number phone number and here i am going to select here binary no sorry integer i will select then add a field so here you can see so i will add a phone number also here add a field and phone number just click on it type phone number and they will like select binary for that one add field and you can see this phone number came and if you have a checkbox means we can have a checkbox also uh, just type a checkbox and select this one boolean and this is select this see this one checkbox click save and let me have a Execute program. Please remember why I am mean getting this error means here space I have given. So I am going to delete this again and I will create it again. Just have click on it and add field. So this is uh, just type here phone number. No space given, please. And you write select binary and click save this game and just click on save and it has been saved you can see it has been saved right. so i have been saved and i am going to execute here my sql command type select from star from c c is my cloud i have given you can type cloud also and you can type alphabetical word also just run it as you can see this is the way i have configured the output game cloud for checkbox game phone number if you give your phone number also it will come here phone number if you allow something you can have a link and here is the name you can give anything you just you type when you come will come this and here you can see and click or this is the back uh, functioning about how to use this Orient database? I have explained in SQL, so you can have a configure with this one also. Uh, let me show you small thing before ending my video here. If you can go to this website W3 uh, W3 School, and when you check this your SQL command, and there you can see this one this database administrator. You can write it your everything the customer ID, customer name, contact name, address, series, everything you can. Have 
have it and just you to you can run it from your command same like this and here also it will be same just you feel all those information in your database like this the, the one just now I have shown you example this 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 one you just feel all those things like if you can feel from 10, 1 to 10 just feel 1 to 10 and have a command if you put from like this if you if you enter all those data like customer id name address then you can access only if you just type here address and then you will it will show you everything about address details if you type a customer id it will come customer id so the feeling is just now i have shown you how to feel this um, data entry data and you can have uh, you can get this data database also so thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my id cloud video